fasting, I believe that that's something that's um, very ignored in, in Christian circles. Um, you would hear a lot of sermons um, that deal with prayer, with reading the word of God, with worship. I just don't remember so many sermons about fasting. It's not something that's emphasized. So th th that's why I'm getting into it, you know, mm. So, because uh, we've got a lot to talk about, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah. So it's something that's really not emphasized. And I mean, I understand why, right? We love our food. And as, as you can see, we're, we're both chunky. Mm. So <laughs> we love our food. Um, but if, if it's part of part of our faith and if it has spiritual benefits to it, it's important to us, right? And um, to me, my perspective on fasting is basically where you abstain from food or water or both, um, and you pursue God's favor and presence. That, mm. That's that's how I'm seeing it. Or, or sometimes you might be seeking something, and and you're you're showing how serious you are before the Lord, yeah. and saying, Lord, I will abstain from food or liquids and i want to do that because i'm really uh desperate for an answer yeah yeah and we also see examples of um sometimes it's uh sometimes when we don't have enough faith in our life we can overcome that with fasting to kind of make up for that lack of faith in our life because uh, sometimes that happens sometimes because of the situations we're going through because of the hardships we're going through um we lack faith yeah, or faith yeah. is not strong enough and sometimes what we need is fasting coupled with prayer to kind of amplify that faith that we have just to make it strong enough to go through what we're going through and yeah. um we see that in the bible um like for example in matthew 17 uh verses 18 to 21 when uh jesus says and jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him and the child was cured from from that very hour then the disciples came to jesus privately and said why could we not cast it out so jesus said to them because of your unbelief for surely i say to you if you have faith as a mustard seed you will say to this mountain move from here to there and it will move and nothing will be impossible for you however this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting mm. so we, we see that sometimes there are some circumstances that cannot be moved and things that cannot be changed unless we have fasting coupled along with prayer mm. and and also of course with faith and sometimes it's just because of our lack of faith that things are not moving but in this example we can clearly see that it's something that needs prayer and fasting for it to be moved and uh, that's another reason one of one of the reasons yeah. why we need fasting um because sometimes when people come to these kind of passages they think well if there is a demon or like in in this situation like there's a demon possessed am i gonna say well hold on a sec i'm gonna go and fast and i'm gonna come back to you mm -hmm. but then if you have the perspective of having fasting as part of your devotion yeah. you're always prepared for situations that arise where god's gonna put you in certain situations mm -hmm. where not only you you're mentally um ready right yeah. like intellectually i know the word of god i know what to say and so on but you're also spiritually full and satisfied mm -hmm. because personally to me i feel like when we fast we are um emptying our stomachs right our our bodies are lacking food but at the same time we're filling our spirit amen yeah. right and um uh that was jesus saying that in john 4 32 because i i remember when we were speaking about worship mm -hmm. you were mentioning the samaritan woman right um and that worship was in spirit and truth mm -hmm. but after that um after that story the disciples show up literally and and this is what it says um <clears throat> um sorry guys uh, but he said to them, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. Then his disciples said to each other, could someone have brought him food? My food, said Jesus, 
is to do the will of him who has sent me and to finish his work. And I understand that in context, he's not speaking about fasting here. Yeah. Right? But there is a sense of spiritual food that, you know, we can fill ourselves with. Mm -hmm. And fasting is one of the way that we can come to the Lord and say, Lord, I am here to be filled by you. Yeah. I'm happy to abstain of the pleasures of my flesh, right? And the needs of my flesh. And I'm here and I'm desiring that my cup be of a flood. Yeah. And to, to me, I see that, and, and even from experience, even from experience, that when it comes to fasting, they are some of the best days in my life. And I'm yeah. talking about period, some of the best yeah. days of my life where, <clears throat> And, and and people would say this people would be like when i'm fasting mm. i feel so different uh, like being in the presence of god experiencing the favor of god is just amplified yeah you know it's just having that unique experience with the lord mm. and to have that part of your devotion it shows the i, I guess the you know that l limitless experience with the lord and that growth with the lord that you feel like my life my spiritual life mm -hmm. could be much much better with having fasting in it yeah.